Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Vinit Parma and I am here to do a small ride experience or you can also call it as the ownership experience about the Activa 3G. This scooter I owned for the past 3 years and I will be sharing my ride experience and the ownership experience and what I felt with this bike and the honest review about this scooter. Without wasting much time and without further delay, let's get started and you are watching DJ Tech Motor Riders. Kindly note that this is not any paid promotion video and I am not promoting any brand or any scooty in this video. I am just saying my honest review and the honest ride experience which I felt with this bike. Now I will be sharing about some of the good things that I felt with this scooty. The first thing is that this scooty has a very refined engine. The Honda's engine is very refined and very smooth. This engine is butter smooth and with no vibrations. The second thing that I liked in this scooty is the service and the maintenance cost of this scooty is comparatively very low. This scooty costs only 600 to 700 rupees for a general service. And this scooty is a zero maintenance scooty and does not uh, require much money for any maintenance of this scooty. The third thing that I liked in this scooty is the mileage of this scooty. In the city conditions, I have achieved a good mileage of around 42 km per litre and on the highways 48 km per litre which for a scooty is an impressive mileage and I liked it in this bike. The another thing that I liked in this scooty is the seating position of this scooty. As you can see that the seating position of this scooty is very comfortable. We can do daily commute with this scooty with great comfort and the seat of this scooty is also well cushioned and it is very broad so that we can easily sit on this scooty and perform rides on this scooty. And the another thing that I like in this scooty is the legroom of this scooty is more. You can see the leg position of the uh, here. It is very more compared to the other scooties. The other scooties will not have this much legroom compared with this scooty. The another thing that I liked in this scooty is the rear view mirrors of this scooty. As you can see that the rear view mirrors of this scooty are broad enough so that you can easily see the backside people which are coming from the backside. And the visibility of this rear view mirrors is more and they can be adjustable so according to our comfort. The last point that I liked in this scooty is the styling of this scooty. As you can see that the scooty is well styled and it looks sharp from any of the angles we see it and I personally like the color of this scooty and we can also say that this is the perfect combination for an Activa. Now I will be sharing some of the worst experience with this scooty which I felt. First bad thing that I did not like in this scooty is the dashboard of the scooty. As you can see the dashboard of the scooty it is full of scratches and the color of the dashboard completely worn out. It, uh, while purchasing this scooty, the color was black and uh, now the color is completely faded out and the plastic in, uh, in this, uh, used in this dashboard is of worst quality. The second thing that I did not like in this scooty are the brakes in this scooty. As you can see that in the front and the rear section, we get a drum brake. Instead of this drum brake in the front section, if we got the disc brake, the braking power of this scooty would have increased and the right feel would be much more better than the drum brake. This is the disadvantage I feel in this scooty. The another thing that I did not like in this scooty is the headlight and the indicators of this scooty. As you can see the headlight is a halogen headlight which does not provide much brightness during the night time. And at that time the LED lamps were not in that use. So that time the halogen headlights were there but the visibility of this headlight is much low when compared to other company lights and the other scooties. The another thing that I did not like in this scooty is the instrument cluster of this scooty. As you can see that the instrument cluster of the scooty is an analog and it is a simple basic cluster which just shows the basic information like the speed of the vehicle, the odometer and the fuel indication and that's it. And if we compare with the other scooties, all the scooties are coming with the advanced features like the low fuel indication, the heat of the vehicle, the time, the trip meters and the average of the motorcycle and all the features which are coming in nowadays scooties. This is the another thing that I did not like in this scooty. The another thing that I did not like in this scooty is the 
this part of this coating. As you can see that this part, the paint, ha paint has worn out within the three years of span, and the scratches have been appeared here. This I did not like in this coating. These are some of the good things and the bad things that I found in my three years ownership experience, and this is the honest experience which I found with this coating. And the last point that I want to conclude with this is with the good things and the bad things also. This scooty is one of the best selling scooty in the Indian market. If you want the review video on the Activa 125, the link will be in the description box below. And if you found this video useful, please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel and be a part of our family. Because with your support and with your motivation only, we can do much more videos like this video. Until next time, this is Vinkarma signing off.